Facebook fans coming to you <laughs> live above uh, our construction site again. Bit of a gloomy day, but exciting stuff going on here. Yeah, as we move closer, you can see there's a giant air conditioner, part of an air conditioner. That's not even, that is one quarter of one air conditioning unit that is being lowered into the new portion of our expansion basement. So you can see as you get closer, we are standing uh, towards the front of the theater, towards 2nd Street. You are looking down Palmer Court towards 1st Street just to get a frame of reference. But as you can see, there's already some air conditioning pieces down in. There are two units, four pieces per unit. So that's eight pieces that they're craning in today uh, to put together for the two full units that will air condition just the auditorium. So while this looks like a lot, this only air conditions the auditorium. This doesn't cover the lobby space, this doesn't cover the new bathrooms, any of the new expansion. This is solely the auditorium. So you can see when we say this is a big project, this is a big project. And we'll look in the, get a little better view here looking down into the basement. Try and move forward here without hitting the crane. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see down in the new basement here of the expansion, uh, looks like they have almost all looks like there's one piece left yeah. uh, to crane in so started at 7 30 this morning uh started craning in all of these pieces uh as janine said there's eight pieces so two units four pieces each if we're doing our math correctly yeah. um and those will go in the basement there they're going to start putting them together uh, and then tying in all the new duct work uh if you look uh to the right there um, down underneath the steel. Um, let me move forward a little bit here so you can see. So that one hole that's there now, that is just one of four holes uh, that's going to be in the existing building foundation wall uh, for the new ductwork to go through. Uh, so there'll be two openings for the supply uh, ductwork going through and then two openings for the return ductwork coming through. And again, this is just for the auditorium. So these two units are just for the auditorium, air conditioning and heating. Uh, and then there's gonna be two units on the stage, one unit on the lobby roof and one unit on uh, the roof of this addition. Now these two units you're looking at, uh, these are just the air handlers. So the actual uh, condensing units will be on top of the roof of this new addition. But by putting these in the basement, we've talked about it before, uh, this will give us quite the lifespan. Uh, if we put them on the roof, they said uh, the lifespan might be only you know, 20, 25 years weather dependent. And uh, by putting them in the basement, uh, we're hopeful that we'll get potentially up to 50 years life out of these. Um, so quite the increase by being able to put them in the basement. Um, but as we go up here, you can see uh, these things are taking up a lot of space. And uh, they'll get spread out a little bit. There'll be a gap in between them. And as we've talked about before, this basement uh, is within inches of the minimum uh, space required for these units. So it was definitely uh, kind of a tight fit to be able to uh, put this addition into the alley here and make sure we had all of the space uh, available for these air conditioning units. Yeah, and what's also with these, uh, Alex was talking about the air supplies and the air returns. From up high, they might look not that significant of cutouts. Each one of those cutouts weighs 1,600 pounds. So that's a huge slab. So they're actually even uh, leapfrogging. So the one will cut out, then it'll be not, they'll skip the one next to it, go over one. In order to maintain the integrity of a 90 year old wall, um, to make sure that as they're installing this new equipment that we're not uh, gonna damage or have anything awful happen with this wall that's 90 years old. So it's quite substantial cutouts and they really have thought through how to do this and not damage and not just power through and end up doing something that they regret doing. So it's been a really, uh, as I said, a puzzle piece of construction because it's everything is being retrofitted. Everything you have to think through how this is going to fit to a nine year old building. It's not a brand new build, which is a lot easier. So this is a very complicated project. 
Irving Construction and all of their subcontractors have just been phenomenal. And you can't just go to Home Depot and yeah. <laughs> uh, pick up this stuff. So these air handlers that you're seeing lowered into the basement here, uh, these were custom made. Uh, these are carrier units uh, that were custom made just for our project. Uh, and we were joking uh, before we went on live here, uh, making sure that the contractors got the left one and the right one in the right spot. Uh, but it's not a joke. Uh, these two units are actually different. Uh, there's one that was specifically designed to go on the left side of the basement and one that was designed specifically to go on the right side of the basement. So uh, there is a left Twix and a right Twix uh, to these air handlers. Uh, so if you can see the numbers there on the side of it, uh, they were all numbered so that they made sure they got the right pieces in here. And let us know in the comments if uh, you want to help us name these units. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun to uh, give a name to each of these. Yeah. We've got two units, uh, they're probably twins. Yeah, so, I think they're twins. Yeah, I don't know if uh, two girls, two boys, a boy and a girl. Right, they're fraternal, they're identical, but we're really excited. Well, they're not identical. That's right? true. Yes. That's true. Good point. A left so. and a, one's left-handed, one's right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> well, and to be in the vein of theater, they did install five, six, seven, eight first, so yes. we're ready. Seemed um, appropriate. It does seem appropriate that they would start with five, six, seven, eight. So write in the comments, see if you have any uh, punny or witty names uh, for these uh, air handler units. Um, like who chillery. knows, maybe we'll put a... Oh. <laughs> chillery, come on. Yes. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll put a plaque on them with uh, a name. <laughs> so, hello, uh, hello, my name is stickers. <laughs> <laughs> but as we go through this project, we, as we've said before, we're at the $4 million mark of a $5.5 million project. So that's 73% of the way to a fully funded expansion on the Egyptian theater. Uh, we've kicked off our public campaign to ask for your help. You guys have already been so supportive of us through this process. Now we just need your help uh, pushing us over the finish line, that last million and a half dollars. So if you want to help donate, you can go to lightscameradonate.org right now uh, to help us get over the finish line. We've been absolutely, like I said, humbled by the support we've gotten. We're so happy to be over that $4 million mark. That was a huge feat to accomplish. So we're really close to the finish line, guys. Push us over that last 25% so we can get this building done right. We can get this building done for the next 90 years. So yeah, in the next 90, when who knows what drone technology we'll have. We'll have moon juice and <laughs> space boots. Uh, and hopefully they'll be looking back on us and saying we did it right. We did what we were supposed to do. That bird is dying by me. <laughs> so, see, again, if, see if you can find us in uh, the image here. It's like yeah. find Waldo. Um, but this gives you a perspective again of the front of the theater uh, and uh, coming into Palmer Court here. We'll come back. To... <laughs> Those birds are just going for your drone. <laughs> These are the things you get to experience with us, guys, live on Facebook. Uh, but again, LightsCameraDonate.org. We're super, super excited that this project is even happening. Uh, sometimes it feels a bit like a dream, especially for Alex, who's been working on this for the past decade, uh, give or take a few months or years. Uh, but we've been so happy with the support we've gotten from the city of Tekel. We've been so happy with the construction team, with our architects and with our engineers. It's really been a team effort to work with us because we work inside the theater every day. We see what problems we have during shows and then they come in with their expertise and we're able to put our heads together and really solve the problems that we see on a daily basis. So this is why we're, it's been such a great collaborative effort uh, to really bring the theater to the next level, to the next level, to the next level for our patrons uh, because I think we already bring really quality talent to our stage but there's nothing you can do when you don't have enough bathrooms. There's yeah. nothing, there's no way you can bake your way around it uh, and have carpet from 1983. So just stuff like that, that we're so excited to give a little bit of rejuvenation to the Egyptian. And any theater. of you that were here with us on this past Saturday for yeah. Rumors, phenomenal show. Uh, but man, was it the perfect sales pitch for why we need air conditioning. <laughs> it was quite hot. Uh, it was atrociously humid. Yeah. It was hot. It was uh, raining. So we've thanked, uh, we thanked all of you at the show, but thank you again for everybody uh, that came out to the show and endured it with us. Uh, it was definitely worth it. It was a great show. 
Uh, but perfect example of it's not just July and August that we it's need September. air conditioning. It could be a September, it could be early Late October. Uh, you bring in a couple hundred people, well over 500 people, and man, air conditioning is really needed uh, to take care of that humidity. Uh, so super excited for this project. It is a big moment today uh, to see the very first air conditioning units going into the building. Uh, again, if you're just joining us, uh, big momentous day today. Uh, the two air handler units for the auditorium have been lowered into the basement. Uh, I see a few comments uh, excited for air conditioning. Yes. Uh, everyone is. Uh, yes. It's important to note, even though those units are getting lowered down into the basement, uh, it will be uh, quite a few more weeks before all of the electrical gets hooked up, the plumbing gets hooked up, uh, all the duct work. Uh, so Friday, uh, if you see all the steel work here, the first floor precast panels are going to be uh, put in. Uh, they said it should be done within uh, just a couple of hours. Uh, some of the longest panels are going to be 32 feet long uh, that are going to get craned into here. So that's why we had to get these air handler units installed uh, or at least lowered in today. Yeah. Uh, so that they were in there because there's no way to get these down in uh, once the first floor gets put on. And it's going to be moving really quick. So once the first floor goes on, they'll start the masonry work and the construction building up. So as you can see, where the steel beams are, it looks like the first floor is a little bit sunken down. And it is. It's because our first floor is about four feet lower than Palmer Court. So then they're going to continue to build up to get ready to put the precast on for the second floor and so on and so forth. So the next 14 days are going to be a lot of progress. I know it's been a bit of a hole in the ground situation. For us, it changes every day. We see it every day. But if you're walking past, you're like, okay, I see some new things. I see some new stuff. You're going to really walk past between now and the end of October and be like, wow, things are really moving. Yeah. And we're at the battery life end. All righty. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, fun day today. Uh, air conditioning units uh, for the auditorium installed. Uh, so we're gonna get this thing turned around here and land it uh, before our battery runs out. And, uh, and again, if you wanna help us support this project, lightscameradonate.org, you can do that online. Come see us in person. Give us a call at 815-758-1225. No donation is too small. We're super excited for this project to continue to move forward as we expand beyond 90 years. So, alrighty, uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, exciting stuff today. So, uh, see you later. we will see you later.